that is significantly smaller. Okay, so current setup is 100 foot ethernet cable going to underneath the carpet, up into the switch that's located right here, my lots of wires, and then one of those cables goes into the internet port on this one, and then one of the, the ethernet out goes into this right here. Why that is, is because this Zmodo thing that I use for my cameras, in order to uh, connect to my cameras over the network and stuff, it's gotta actually, since the Wi-Fi on the cameras are talking to the uh, little on-hub router that I had before, which is right here, that other shell you had, saw was from my uh, lights that came with the different casing, this other one here. This is the original one. So now all those are gonna talk to this and then I've gotta have the cameras connected to this and I've gotta have the ethernet going to this and I needed to have uh, this going to something else. Oh, to my, uh, that white ethernet port that was going to that switch is connected to this, uh, my on my Philips Hue lights that are connected to various places in my apartment. I have to have this connected to that switch as well and that switch connected to the on hub router or the Google Wi-Fi points now because that was the only way to get them to talk to my network because the uh, other switch is a pure, you know, signal coming from the uh, Google Fiber box, which is also its own router. And one day I need to need to uh, figure out how to disable that and just use my little Wi-Fi points connected to the fiber jack. I forgot that I had my phone set to record at a lower quality earlier, so sorry about that. So it says up to date current version. You can check out the different version levels there. It's this is all new. Uh, this video is going to get posted on my second channel, by the way. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you're coming from the main channel, thank you. So I can restart them. I don't know if this is one click. Okay, so one click will restart all of them, and then I can do a factory reset if I want to, and I can test them. I can add another one, etc. I want to go ahead and do a test. So let's do a network check, and let's do a uh, test strength real quick. So uh, as you can see, my signal's a little bit weak, so I think it's still connected to the one in the bedroom. I don't know how fast the process is for it to obtain the better signal and connect to that one, or what? This device is a strong, maybe this, okay, so it just got full there. Let's test the quality between points. The one in the living room is gonna be the absolute furthest. So let's see what that one gets. The main video still hasn't been edited yet. It's on these uh, SD cards here. One for my camera and then one for my little audio recorder so the audio is better. It don't need to be a very big one for that one. So this will be the absolute furthest point, the one in the living room. Wow, I've got some stuff to learn about this. I might have accidentally mixed them up. I can actually tell by the video when I look at the names and I'll actually just move them around if I need to. This is exciting, this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and go to a priority device here, choose my Nexus 6P and save it. All right, and then let's go ahead and open up the speed test app here and do a speed test real quick. So I am using Google Fiber, but obviously I'm not going to get fiber speeds through Wi-Fi. That's not something to, like, just ignore. That's pretty awesome. Let's make sure that it's also connected to the 5 gigahertz network and not the 2.4, which I unfortunately have no way of controlling. It looks like it's connected to 866 megabits per second link speed, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and test it one more time just to make sure that it's relatively the same as the previous one I've gotten you know speeds even faster if you, I've got a video I posted on uh, Google Fiber and my on hub router and stuff and I've gotten speeds well over 200 megabits per second on Wi-Fi so this is obviously gonna be better than my LTE on my phone and while my LTE is unlimited through T-Mobile I'm definitely gonna be using Wi-Fi instead of that so that's pretty awesome again this is my second channel I don't upload here very often but when I do it's something I think you're gonna actually want to watch so go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already this is what would Josh do and I'm out